Pang, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, with the facilities we have in South Africa, our girls should be at a better place. But after watching the game against Nigeria, it seems that there's still a long way for our girls to go to become world beaters. Um, you know, I think it's, it was a matter of, of skeptics on, on the day. Um, I think it was more co coach Rada Power just being too cautious and trying to, you know, defend what, um, well, defend, I don't know what she was trying to defend, but at, at the same time, I think um, she wanted to, to counter the, the Nigerians. Um, and it was a match where there was nothing actually to lose, because even if they had lost the match, they still have a chance now to, to, uh, to, Try and qualify for the for the 2015 uh, World Cup, but I think that South Africa is actually one of the better teams on the continent. Um, I guess just the uh, wrong tactics on the day, but I think maybe against the Ivorians, you um, know, they they probably strategize better and then be able to qualify for the 2015 World Cup. Now, so I will argue that even if our ladies qualify for the World Cup, it seems like they would become the whipping girls of the tournament, and this is based on their current performance at the Eight Nations tournament. But what do you make of that? Well, look, I, think, I don't think that they've had a bad performance overall. I think they've had a good uh, performance uh, in Namibia. Uh, you look at the at their group, it was a tough group, it was a group of death. The two West African teams, uh, one has already qualified for the World Cup in Cameroon, the Ghana, uh, which, has already, which has uh, participated or competed at the, at the World Stage. Uh, they have the likes of Algeria, which is not, which, which uh, is a, also a strong team. We've got the likes of them as well. It's so they, they've had a, a, a strong, a, a strong, uh, strong competition. The tournament. They then went to go to go play Nigeria, who are ranked number one on the continent. So in terms of uh, this con uh, this competition, this tournament, I don't think we can really judge them really, um, you know, ahead of the of the World Cup. Uh, I think that uh, should they qualify for the World Cup. Uh, then suffer and and their sponsor will then work out uh, you know a plan uh, ahead of their World Cup and probably they'll have an intensive um, the intensive camp ahead of the preparation for Canada. So I think maybe we can then be able to measure them ahead, you know, months maybe ahead of, of of the World Cup and maybe not now. But I think now it was a good uh, you know practice session for them uh, if they are to qualify for the World Cup. Thank you so much, Lebohang Dube live there from Namibia for updating us live from the Banyana camp.